everyone welcome back to our channel so this is same here and this is the other video of the 5 minute talk series and this is a question that a lot of people would have been asking me about how to send push notifications to their device so the usual use case would be like if if your recon toolkit found a new subdomain or maybe a new port open or any any new finding that wasn't found earlier so you wanted to get a push notification for that on your uh, on your device so i'll be showing like some of the services the popular ones that i have explored and what are the like drawbacks or pros and cons of that and eventually i would also give you a free solution like free for lifetime and that also it would also ensure your data privacy because you wouldn't want to like share your econ data with all of all of the people right so i have come to a conclusion as to how you could do that so it's like i would be building our own setup for that but that would be in the second part so let's start with this so a quick announcement so if you have not still started with the ceso ctf i would urge you that you start that in my previous video i have talked about ctfs and how it would like benefit you as a bug bounty hunter or as a cyber security enthusiast so yeah my team has been doing quite fine now I uh, I haven't yet started apologies for that but yeah still one and a half days left I would start after making this video and also the part 2 of this video where I would be actually giving you the application and the code and explaining so that and setting up the whole server so that would be in the second part and I would try to make that in a day or two so let's start this so goal for this series of videos so it would be at max two or three videos so send push notification for any new found subdomain port or anything whatever you want to send push notification for so it would be custom for that so you could easily just send a curl or a python request and it would send the push notification to your app so i'll be showing a video as to how you would see at the end so stay tuned with me till the end cost of sending notification should be free for lifetime like a lot of popular apps or uh, services that i tried out they were not free like they had a trial period and after that there were restrictions so you had to pay a one time fee so i'll be discussing that as well structure of this video so what are push notifications how you could send what are the different ways different providers and their comparison and which one we are choosing and why so push notification is quite like known to all of you like the notification like if you're using whatsapp you would get a notification once someone sends a message to you or if you're using any other apps like zomato swiggy or telegram you get a notification so those are push notifications ways of sending push notifications so it's not only like app sends you push notifications there are websites also now that could send you push notifications so in most of the news websites you would have seen that they ask you that whether to allow them to send notifications or not so these notifications are like equivalent to in desktop as well as on the mobile so if you have enabled them you you would get a notification from them through the browser so even if the browser is not open you would still get a notification so these are the kinds of app notifications if you are not still aware so this is how the web notification looks like so they in the website ask you whether uh, you should allow them or not to send notifications so these are the different providers and a uh, lot of others also i tried these are some where i did some effort in testing them and this is the comparison so pushover is uh, like the tool of choice for many people and i remember in find domain video which i did quite some time back so there the documentation mentioned that using pushover api you could use that but i checked it and i found that it was free for 7 days and after that you had to pay a one time fee of around $4 or $3 then there is push bullet so push bullet helps you in mirroring all the notifications from your like laptop to extra for the mobiles so whatever notifications you see on the laptop you could see like on you could see the same on your mobiles and you could like act on those notifications on the laptop as well so it's kind of a mirroring server I tried setting this up but it didn't work for me but to be honest I just spent like 5 to 10 minutes because I had to test a lot of things a lot of services so I didn't spend a lot of time then there's true push so it was only for web gotify you have to so it's open source so that was like my go to thing so it's written in golang and you have to say server 
like set up a server for that it's open source and free so you could check out the code they have a app for it on the uh, web store sorry play store and app store so you could check that out as well then there's sendpulse.com it's web only pushbots one signal in these they didn't have a like app which you could install from play store and just do a curl request to get the notification so you need to create your own app and in like add the sdk there so i thought it would be a lot of work so for just to get a push notification so criterion for choosing it should be free forever it could send notifications to the app like not only web so it should send notifications to app easy to send like you don't have to implement sdk and all those things you don't want to create your own app privacy maintained it's like central to it because uh, you wouldn't want your econ data or whatever sensitive data that you're working with to be like going through someone else's server and like gpi api gateway hence i preferred open source and if not self made so finally what is it that you have chosen so that's the question of the r so expo so i didn't talk about in the previous thing like in the seven services so expo is basically a wrapper or kind of a ecosystem for making react native apis uh, react native uh, apps and if you would have seen me on twitter following me on, on twitter you would have seen that i was talking that i was making about a react native app for cyber security community so it's almost done i would be launching that in some time so i had a bit experience with expo however i made it so simple that you don't need to install expo or you don't need to do anything you could just download it from play store i would be uploading it in a day or two if you don't if you are still like concerned that it might contain something so you could um, get, get from the github repo i would add the link in my next part so here's a demo of that uh, i think i would have to show it here yeah so yeah i'm sending a curl request to the expo app and you could see that my notification notification title uh, let me play this again so you could see that this is the exponent push token so this is free and you could use the expo api to send push notification to like iphone as well as android devices so this particular like um, apk expo compiles in both the apks like sorry in both the apps so it would work for ios as well as for android so it would compile an apk as well as a like ios app also so once you open the app uh, here you would see the exponent push token there's a click to copy token to clipboard button so once you clip the token would be copied and that token is required in the curl request so you could they have the python sdk so you could just copy it and paste it in your server if you like if you're conscious that you it should not go through a third party server so wherever you are running your recon so you can uh, add the notification to it like once this domain has been found or once the recon is completed uh, send a notification to my app so you could just run the python request command i would show you in the next part and just paste this token there and it would automatically send that this has been completed please download it from here so you could also get the download link in the notification like since i'm sending a uh, temp like test notification so you could see that the notification title and this is the body of the notification so instead of that you could also send a json and like a url there so hope you like this thank you stay tuned for the second part